give your life to Jesus Christ. That's why we come out here to tell you the truth. To tell you about Jesus Christ who suffered for, their, for your, our sins on the cross of Calvary. Do not be deceived by men. You are deceived by your government. Wake up and see the Lord today. Look around you, the creation he said he did. It does not come by, it didn't come by itself. It's not a big bang. It is Jesus who created all things and it's no excuse for you that you see God. You have seen God today. God command you to repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. We are living in the last days. The last days, perilous times shall come. We are Christians here. We are the brethren. We are the saints, the believers. We're not religion. We don't give in to religion. Religion is a lie. It deceived many into hellfire. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can go to the Father but by me. You said, I'm a friend of God. Have you keep his commandment? Are you doing the things that you should do for God? Are you following God truly? Don't say, I'm a friend of God, and do otherwise, and do in religion, and walk after men, and believe government over God. Our government has deceived you. Stop listening to a lie. You're in darkness. You are still in darkness, my friends. Awake ye therefore, and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Repent, and follow Jesus. He will come again to judge the world in righteousness. The Father give him to rule he sits on the right hand of God, Jesus Christ, who is God. Jesus Christ is God, not a religion man, not a, not, he's not a God that made by man. Jesus always was God before the, begin, before the world begins. He always was before the universe. He created all things, Jesus Christ. It is time for you now. Stop following man. You man that sits up there. He is they are not God. Don't stop treating him them like God. It is time to look up. To look up and know that God is on the throne. God is on the throne. His name is Jesus Christ. The only God, the only Savior, and the only way. There's no other way. And all the religion think you're going to go to heaven with your religion. Your religion is false, and it's a call, and you are being deceived of a lie of your religion. Your religion will send you to hell. There's no way they're going to sit. You said, I'm a friend of God. Have you keep his commandment? Are you doing the things that you should do for God? Are you following God truly? Don't say, I'm a friend of God, and do otherwise, and do in religion, and walk after men and believe government over God. Our government has deceived you. Stop listening to a lie. You're in darkness. You're still 
darkness, my friends. Awake ye therefore, and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Repent and follow Jesus. He will come again to judge the world in righteousness. God command you to repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. We are living in the last days. The last days, perilous times shall come. Save you from hell. Only through Jesus Christ can save you from hell. Hell is everlasting fire, as Jesus said. Uh, hell is everlasting fire, as Jesus said. And those who go there, because you don't want God, you love your flesh. You are carnal-minded, fleshly people to go after man as your gods. <laughs> My God was not made by hand. My God is not made of stone and, and silver and gold. My God is not made of wood. Not made by shape by man. My God was always was, and his name is Jesus Christ. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are one God, not many gods. Repent of your wicked ways, my friends, and hear the word of God. All the pride and the drunkard are in for him. Repent before you perish. Fear God and keep his commandments for the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man today. God has given you the word in East Alaskas. God has given you Revelation, chapter 14, 6 and 7. It is to fear God and give Him glory. That's why we Christians are here to give Him glory. Not man, not man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
because the cross is cruel. For God, our God, took on himself human to go on that cruel folk cross for our sin. Yes, you hear, he did it. Here, he give you away. He died for us. He was wounded for our, for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Not just physically, but spiritually. So it is time to wake up, sinners. It is time to wake up, sinner. We don't have much time and stop looking at man that sits on their throne, which is will be collapsing on them one day, unless they repent. Yeah, you look up them. You look up their God that sits on their throne, on that building there, giving you all kinds of way of rule. It's not of God. Our God give us the way or you will perish. We are saved by the blood of Jesus. We are saved because he died for us. Jesus Christ died for us. That's right. Jesus, my Lord, died for you on the cross of Calvary. Unless you repent, you will perish. Time is running out. Pretty soon he's going to get on that white horse as it said in Revelation. Revelation chapter... Well, let's say Jude, in the book of Jude, Jesus will come in the white horse and his armies will follow him. All the saints and his angels were revealed from heaven with his mighty, mighty angels. He will take vengeance on them that know not God and not obeying the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ shall be punished of everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord, from the glory of His power. Oh, the great God, sitting on the throne, will come in with clouds and great glory. You better be ready. That's why we are ready for Him to come, to take us away. For you guys are going to be left behind because you trust that God that sits on that throne up there. You trust that God. You trust your God, who is no God. They cannot save you, these God. You love them. You vote for them, because you trust on them. No, I, we trust God. We, we, Christians, we trust God, because our God is powerful. He is an everlasting, consuming fire. Our God is our consuming fire. Even the jealous God. Yes. So it is time to wake up, my friends. To seek the Lord and fear Him. Fear God and keep His commandments. It's the whole duty of man. That's what God says in the Bible. If you Are you His friends? You love Him and all that? Then you should keep His commands. Being to repent. Repent of your sins today, my friend, and follow Him your wholeheartedly. But you trust one God, you trust your gods up there. You, the one that wrote for them up there, that makes nothing but trouble. Our God is powerful and sharp in His, his Word. The Word of God, what we have in our hand today, the Bible. Yes, it may be nothing to you, but it sure is His sword. The Holy Bible is His sword, right here in my hand. That's I got in my hand right here, the Bible. Turn to Jesus now, or you'll perish.
coming of the Lord. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily, verily, I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. The Bible says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Friends, we're out here sharing the good news and that there is hope for you. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we're here to let you know that God loves you. We serve a mighty God who loves you. A God who's full of mercy and compassion. He's full of forgiveness and hope. But God is also a holy, God bless you. But God is also a holy, righteous, just God. And God is a consuming fire. We're here to warn you in love, friends. The gospel, the good news. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and that men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved, that they are manifest, that they are wrought in God. Jesus said, you must be born again. Then unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. The wind blows wherever it comes and goes as it pleases, so it is with everyone that is born of the Spirit. Marvel not that I tell you that you must be born again. God can forgive you today. God is full of mercy, grace, compassion, forgiveness. 1 John 1, 9 tells us that if we confess our sins, that He is faithful and just, and He will purify us from all unrighteousness and to forgive us of our sins. Oh friends, today is the day of salvation and tomorrow is not promised. Some say, here today but gone tomorrow. But the Bible says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, and after that comes the judgment. Whereas ye know not what is on the morrow, for what is your life which is evil?
leave in nothing but a vapor that appears just a little while and then it vanishes away. Friends, we're here to let you know that Jesus Christ is coming to judge this world in righteousness. And the Bible says, for all have sinned, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That there's no one righteous, no, not, not even one. We need a Savior, and His name is Jesus Christ. We want to point you to Him. Jesus said in His Word in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Friends, we're all here this morning on South Baratani Street preaching the gospel of the good news to you neighbors how that Christ Jesus died for our sins was crucified, was buried rose again the third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen according to the scriptures but God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we are yet still sinners Christ died for us even more having been justified by his blood we shall escape the coming of wrath through him Jesus said, I tell you today that unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Repentance is a change of mind, a turning away from our sins. And again, the Bible does say, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every single one of us have broken God's law in some ways, shape, or form. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers with themselves, mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor liars, nor revealers, nor drunkards, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you are lost, sanctified, justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. See, the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. And you see, sin cannot enter into heaven, friends. How you doing, my brother? Be safe. Watch out, watch out. Watch the car now. Watch the car. See, the Bible says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end of are the ways of death. So you, you need to be careful. Be careful. Watch the cars.
God and give him glory for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth the sea and the fountains of water today is the day of salvation repent uh, 11.32 today you need Jesus Christ he's coming back pretty soon get right with him turn before it's too late he give you a chance to get salvation he, he's still offering you salvation to be saved because your soul where are you going to spend eternity your body will go back to the dust but your soul inside of you is eternity and you need Jesus Christ because without him you will go to hell you don't want to burn in hell so that's why we come out here to give you an urgent calling to call on you to get saved Jesus will come to judge the world as well he will judge which you don't want to come to God God wants you to come to Him. You want to come to Him. You want to come, you should come to God. Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, my Lord. He will save you from hell. And Jesus said it in Luke, in Luke 13, in Luke 13, 3. Unless you repent, you all shall likewise perish. He's talking about your soul. Your soul is very precious. I know we don't want we want you to burn in hell. Well, we don't. We, that's why we come out here. Let you know that Jesus Christ died for your sins. He was buried. In three days he rose from the dead on that cross when he was when he had to go to the cross he shed his blood for you Thank you Please don't Jesus Get right with God everybody Don't miss that opportunity Don't go to hell please Amen don't go to that fiery hell. God don't want you to go there. That's what he's still offering you salvation. Salvation is of the Lord. He can offer you salvation. But you must know that you are a sinner. Have you told a lie or look at lust or something like that? Or have other gods, or uh, make a graven image. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ before it's too late. The day of the Lord will come and in the wrath and his fierce anger to lay the land desolate. And the sinner shall be destroyed out of it. When he comes, he will come with 10,000 of his saints. Yes, he will come with 10,000 of his saints to war against sinners that's, a, that's rejecting God. Homosexuality, abortionists, must repent. God will judge the world in holy righteousness. Without holiness, no man can see the Lord. You cannot see the Lord. Because you're not living holy. Holy those who truly repent of their sins and walk in the light of God. No God is a God, because He is the light of the world, and I'm walking in it. We are walking in it. In these last days, we are living in. It's going to come.
come like, like a whirlwind in fury and continue a whirlwind. <coughs> and with, the, with fire, the Lord would come with fire. Yeah, the Lord would come with fire and his chariots like whirlwind to render his And this day, as you are alive and breath in you, you know you can be saved today. He's still, he's still offering salvation for you, my friends. It's not too late. Remember that, that he went to the cross and shed his blood and died, was buried in three days. He rose again, hallelujah. Now that's salvation. You cannot. Don't reject it. And that there's no other way. There's only one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. So we bring a message of hope, of grace and mercy, but also a message of warning. That if you reject God's Son, that you will end up in hell. The Bible says in whom we preach warning every man. Even for those who shake their heads. But that's fine. We bring a message of hope, mercy, and grace. A message of love, but also a message of warning. That if you reject God's Son, then you will end up in hell. So please get right with God, friends. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, my sins, so that we could have eternal life. How we stand in the day of judgment, friends. Put your faith and trust in the Lord. Before it's too late. This then is the message which we have heard from Him. And declare to you that God is light. If we say that we have fellowship with Him. And walk in darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light. Then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, purifies us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My little children, these things write I, write I out to you. That you sin not, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for only, for our only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him. And keep his not his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him. He that said he abided in him on himself also. So to walk, to walk as he had, he walked. Brethren, I write no new co commandment unto you. But an old commandment, which you have from the beginning, the old commandment is the word which you have, which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is, he is in the light, and hateth his brother, is in darkness, even until now. 
He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked. I write unto you, children, because you have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you. And you have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest, that they were not all, all of us. Little children, and 
and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world he hears them. He who hears us hears God, and he who does not hear us does not hear God. And Jesus said that you must be born again. That unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. The wind blows wherever it comes and goes as it pleases. So it is with everyone that is born of the spirit. Marvel not that I tell you that you must be born again. Jesus Christ is coming, friends. Please get right with God. Prepare to meet thy God. The Bible says in Amos 4.12, Prepare to meet thy God. Prepare to meet thy God. Hallelujah. The Bible says there will be more rejoicing for the one sinner who repented than for the 99 righteous people who did not need to repent. And the Bible says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that there is no one righteous, no, not one. Trust in the Lord, friends. Don't wait till it's too late. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repentance is a change of mind, turning away from our sins. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, 10, 11, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers with themselves, mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor liars, nor drunkards, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. And such were some of you. But you're washed. You're sanctified, justified in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. We come out here with a message of hope, grace, and mercy, but also a message of warning that if you reject God, that if you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, that you will end up in hell.